Hello and welcome to Utilize Windows videos. Uh, I was asked to review uh, certain software which is uh, used to to manage hard disks and partitions on our computer and it is called Partition Assistant Professional and we will test it in this demo and for the purpose of demonstration I will create two virtual hard disks which we will use to test the features of uh, Partition Assistant software. So let me just um, create two virtual hard disks on this computer. They will simply be 90 megs in size. So as you can see I have two unallocated uh, hard disks on our computer and let's now go back to Partition Assistant Professional. I will reload information from the computer and uh, notice the two disks that we have created. As you should know when we attach brand new hard disks to our computer uh, the first thing we have to do is initialize them. So to initialize disks in Partition Assistant we can right click disk and uh, select initialize disk or select initialize disk option from the menu on the left and we can initialize disk to two types. The first type is MBR and the second type is GPT. Uh, the main difference between those two types, uh, and I won't get into details, but if your disk is uh, more than 2 terabytes in size, you should select the GPT style, and if it's not, you can safely select the MBR style, which is master boot record. Since our disk is only 90 megabytes in size, I will select the master boot record style and click OK. I will do the same thing for the second disk and that's it we have initialized our hard disks uh, the next thing we can do is create partitions on our hard disks and to do that I can simply right click the unallocated space on the disk and select create partition on or I can do the same thing from the menu on the left As you can see, we can set the partition size, drive letter, file system, and we have some advanced options, which is volume, label, we can create partition as primary or logical partition. As you know, we can have only four primary partitions on our disk, and if we want to have more, uh, we have to actually create three primary partitions, and all other have to be logical partitions. For the purpose of this demo I will simply create primary partitions and the great option here is that we can set unallocated space before our partition and unallocated space after the partition. This is something that uh, for example this is not so simply done in disk management snap-in which is available in Windows and we can simply use this image to set the size or uh, set the unallocated space before and after our partition so this is pretty neat. We can also set the SSD partition alignment this option is used if we want to use SSD hard disk on our system and by using this option we ensure that all partitions are properly aligned so that the performance of the SSD hard disk is really optimized. So let's do that now and notice that seems that we have done all those actions but all those actions are not really applied yet. Notice the pending operations action on the menu on the left. All those operations are not really applied yet and to apply them we have to click the apply button and we will do that now. Yes, I want to start. All operations have been completed successfully and those operations are now applied. When we have created a partition, other operations that we can do now are resize or move partition, which is really easy.
note is that we can simply resize it and move it on the hard disk. I will make it smaller in this case and hit OK. Notice that this operation is not really performed yet. We can copy this partition to another hard disk. We have two options when copying. We can copy only the used space on the partition or we can choose to copy sector by sector. In this case I will simply choose the first option and I will copy this uh, partition to the disk 3. I will hit next and uh, the great thing here is that we can also choose the unallocated space before and after and set the partition size when we copy. But before we copy anything let me just create uh, something here on our e partition so that we uh, see how data on the partition is preserved. So let's do that now. I will click apply button to apply all those actions. Everything went OK. Let's just check our new F partition and notice that the new folder is copied. Also, notice that we have changed the size, but we have copied the content of the E partition to the F partition. Other actions that we can perform is delete partition, which is pretty self-explanatory. We can format the partition. As you know, formatting will destroy all data on the partition. We can change the current label of the partition. We can change the drive letter of the partition here. And we can convert uh, partitions from primary to logical or from logical to primary partitions. The great feature of the partition assistant is the white partition option. By using this feature we basically ensure that no one can recover data on our partition. This way we securely delete data. We can also set the active partition. The partition which is marked as active is uh, used to boot our computer. We can also hide our partition. This option will basically delete the drive letter of the partition so that partition won't be visible in Windows Explorer. We also have a partition alignment option which is used to optimize SSDs. We can change partition type ID which is not recommended if you don't know what you're doing. We can also change serial number, also not recommended if you don't know what you're doing, and check partition for errors. This is this will basically use the check disk utility which is available in Windows. And we can also check the properties of the partition here. So those are the actions that are available for partition management. Let, now let's see what we can do with disks. Available actions are disk copying. We can delete all partitions on the disk, wipe our hard drive securely from it. We can perform the disk surface test, which will check for bad sectors. We can convert our disk from MBR to GPT type or from GPT type back to MBR type. And we can rebuild master boot record. This is used if we have problems with booting our computer from the system hard disk. Great features which Partition Assistant provides are wizards. For example, the Extend Partition wizard is used to extend even system partitions or any other partitions and we can do that without data loss. For example, if we have two partitions on our hard disk and uh, one partition is system partition and the other is not and we have free space on that other partition. This option will automatically use the free space from that other partition and add it to the 
for example, system partition, and this is great if we don't have space on the system partition, and this is often used for that, this option. This copy wizard is basically the same thing we saw a bit er earlier, this is just a shortcut. Partition copy wizard, we also saw this option, and the great uh, feature is this, we can, we can migrate our operating system, for example, if we want to implement SSD hard disk on our computer, this feature is great. Uh, by using this feature, we can move our current operating system to the SSD hard disk and I in that way improve performance of our computer without in reinstalling our operating system, which is great. We also have partition recovery wizard which is used to recover partitions which are for some reason lost or deleted by mistake on hard disks. By recovering partitions we can also get to the data and recover data on those lost partitions. We also have uh, an option to make bootable partition assistant CD and to do that we actually have to have Windows 8 installed and we won't do that now. And that's it. Thank you for watching.